Now, we see videos like this, and we think fully autonomous self-driving cars are here. And while there have been some major advancements in this technology, as of the making of this video, there are no fully autonomous self-driving cars on the market for consumers. But self-driving cars are more than just high-tech vehicles of the future. They're a potential shift in how we think about transportation. But before we move forward, there's a clear distinction we need to make. Many cars on the road today have Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, or ADAS. These systems allow the car to manage certain tasks, like maintaining speed on the highway or following a route. While these features are amazing, ADAS-equipped cars are not strictly autonomous. They still require a driver who is ready and able to take control at any moment. Fully self-driving cars, on the other hand, are designed to operate independently, with no human intervention needed. And in today's video, we'll discuss how these fully autonomous driving cars work, the current uses for them, and what a future of no one behind the wheel could look like. So let's begin. How do self-driving cars work? Autonomous vehicles depend on a complex array of sensors, like radar, cameras, and LiDAR, a laser-based detection system. These sensors constantly scan and collect data from the car's surroundings, capturing details like other vehicles, pedestrians, traffic signs, and road markings. That data creates a dynamic, ever-updating map of the car's environment, giving the onboard artificial intelligence a clear picture of its surroundings at all times. So how does the car actually make decisions? The AI processes all that sensor data, calculating when to accelerate, brake, or turn to reach its destination safely. Some developers even envision a network system where autonomous vehicles communicate with each other and with smart infrastructure like traffic lights, known as V2X, or Vehicle to Everything Networks. These networks could help ease traffic congestion and reduce accident risks by coordinating vehicle speeds and timing traffic signals to improve traffic flow. However, the complexity of building a reliable V2X network means it's likely still far off. As we look at the current state of self-driving cars, it's clear that while the technology has come a long way, fully autonomous vehicles aren't yet the norm. No fully self-driving car is available on the market for consumers. Instead, testing is ongoing. Companies like Waymo and Mercedes-Benz, among others, are running trials in states like California, where they're testing autonomous capabilities on public roads. These trials provide essential data for developers, helping them refine and improve the technology over time, especially in real-world situations where unexpected challenges arise. However, testing isn't without its issues. Some autonomous test vehicles, particularly robo-taxis, have come under scrutiny for causing traffic violations or even minor accidents. These instances highlight the hurdles that still need to be jumped before these vehicles are safe for widespread use. But that's why companies are testing them and collecting data to refine their machines again and again. So what's next for self-driving cars? While industry experts generally agree that autonomous vehicles are coming, there's no clear consensus on when they'll actually arrive for consumers. Technical challenges, like ensuring the AI can handle complex driving situations and reliably detect pedestrians and obstacles, remain substantial. And on top of that, there are legal and regulatory challenges to address. In the US, for example, laws around autonomous vehicles vary widely from state to state, with some requiring a licensed driver behind the wheel at all times, while others like California are more lenient. Then there's the matter of consumer confidence. A survey conducted in January 2024 showed that a significant 93% of US adults still have concerns about fully autonomous vehicles. Some voice worries about potential job losses for professional drivers and even concerns over the technology's reliability. Still, the potential benefits of self-driving cars are compelling. Some argue that autonomous vehicles could reduce traffic accidents, ease congestion, and offer more accessible transportation for people who can't drive, such as the elderly or disabled. Additionally, by optimizing routes and traffic flows, autonomous vehicles could potentially have a positive environmental impact by reducing emissions through more efficient driving. In the end, only the future will show what's in store for autonomous self-driving vehicles. What are your thoughts, though? Do you think self-driving cars are the future? Well, let us know in the comments, and if you learned something new in today's video, consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this.